Hello guys, today let's create an energy aura effect in Niagara. So first, we need a static mesh. Here we use the one we created a long time ago. It looks like a flower. Yeah. And its UV is a plain UV. Also, we need a noise texture, water caustics. You can download them for free in my Patreon. Ok, now let's create a material. First, we change the blend mode, translucent, unlit, also to sided. Then we need the texture, water caustics. And now we need a dissolved effect for this texture. We have used this way many times, so let's fast forward here. Ok, now we have a dissolved effect. It's great. Then we need a mask. Just mask G channel and power it. Ok. Add a particle color. We need to multiply the mask by alpha. Then we need another mask effect. Multiply and add a mask. Ok, this is our opacity. Add an emissive color. Uh, 100. Yeah, we can see the effect. We can also use opacity nodes to set reflection. In details, we select index of reflection and use lerp to control the intensity of reflection. A is 1. B is 25. Ok. Then we add a normal texture. Let's see. Yeah, it's here. Now let's create emissive color. Okay, find this node. We will use it. First, multiply it by 30. Then saturate it. And multiply it by 3. Also, we need another clamp. mean is 0 and max we can control it by dynamic parameter then we need a driver HDR from LDR this function can make color more vivid HDR tint is output multiply particle color ok connect it to emissive color finally we need a word position offset Add a text card and a noise texture. Handle the noise texture. Speed Y is 1. And the text card retailing is 0 0.5. Then multiply it by vertex normal word space. Also, we need a mask because we need the end of the static mesh to be without word position offset. Just mask G channel. Then add a dynamic parameter. We will use this parameter to control the intensity of word position offset. Ok, multiply it and connect the output to word position offset. Save the material. 
Now let's create a Niagara system. Let's delete spirit rendered. We need a mesh render. And use our static mesh. Then add a spawn burst. The value is 50. Okay, now let's change left time. Random mean is 0 0.5, max is 0 0.7, and color we can use user parameter. Add a linear color. Give it a right color by default. Oh yeah, we haven't set its material here. We need to use our material. Yeah, we can see the effect. Then let's set mesh scale mode. Also, we use random, mean is 5, max is 10. Okay, add a shape location. We use cylinder. Height is 1, radius is 5. Then add an initial mesh orientation. Mesh orientation mode is 9. We use rotation. And make vector, we just use y axis. Random range 0 to 0 0.05. OK. Then add velocity. Velocity mode from point. And mesh facing mode, we need velocity. OK, we can get an aura-like effect. In particle update, let's set scale mesh size 0 to 1. OK, scale curve, we can set it to 2. Then add scale color. Also, we use a float to control the value of the three channels. Give it a curve 0 to 1 to 0. And when key data is 0 0.2, the value is 1. Scale alpha is same. Finally, let's add a dynamic material parameters. Let's change these parameter values to make the effect look better. OK, speed, we need a random range. 20 to 30. Offset, just 0 to 1. Clamp is 1. Yeah, we can see the effect. And word position offset, we need a random range. Maybe 50 to 80. OK. Uh, change it loop duration to be faster. And let's see it in the level. Yeah, it looks good. Now let's create a body of fire. Copy the emitter and spawn burst. The value is 20. Left time may be longer, 1 to 1.5. Then scale mesh size. We need X and Y axis by default, 1.2. Z axis, we need a curve, 0 to 1. And let's add a new key data, 0 0.2, and the value is 0 0.7. Also, scale curve is 1.2. Then let's change scale color, make the color brighter. Scale RGB, scale curve is 100. Also, in dynamic parameters, the clamp is 3. OK, we get this effect. Not bad. Then, let's copy this emitter. We just set left time to 0 0.75 to 1.25. And the dynamic parameter, the clamp, is 1. OK, we're done. Let's see it in the level. Uh, something doesn't look right. Its texture doesn't have an upward movement effect. There should be a problem with our material. OK, its texture doesn't move. Oh, here. We also need to give it a time. Now it's right. 
Let's see it in the level. Yeah, it works. We can also change its color by user parameter, like blue. Okay, that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Bye.